We're gonna get this game going. Oh yo, where did you go, console? Boom. Yo, it's it's gonna be weird. Let's get this going. Oh my fuck is right. Kill me, huh? What's this way up? Nothing. So much crib. I was like looking around and shit. Like I'm mad that was it. Go that way. Do my damn like a boot or shit. Hell yeah, hell for the summer. Let's go. I like the way they run, nigga. No. So, oh, what's this? What's this? This looks so dope. I never really played a game like this before, chat. Like, so. What's this? These are my people. Oh, these motherfuckers are coming out deep. Shaking a lot. God damn. He should have shot his ass. The fuck kind of gay shit is that? It's crazy. Crazy, crazy chat. This is bonkers to me. I get into the storyline stuff and I used to that. We didn't really have that lot like, back in my day. You know what I'm saying? They just play the game with doubles and points. Okay. So. Finger looking good. <laughs> Dad joke. My bad. My bad. Damn, she got her ass beat too though. I wonder how old this game is. It looks good though. And bless the people, which is riches.
Got it. Let's do it. Oh, look, she infected with some shit. Get an STD, baby. She got an STD. He's the STD fixer. <laughs> <laughs> he got the cure for, her, for her STD, Jack. That's crazy. My man is dope, though. He had a lot going on in his outfit. I have to find a whole pizza purse to me. Okay. I'm real. Are we coming? Come on. Religious have been purged under the feminine can be a certain religion, of course, to allow them to fight against the slip. Okay, cool. Person X, according. Yeah, well, this is a person X. Okay. That's right. You got the power, my man. See, I gotta get used to all these like, like, like rules and stuff. I gotta remember this jazz. Oh. So I guess that's all I can do here. This is dope. Yo, what's up, the Richards? How you doing, bro? It's been crazy streaming, man. Like, this game is actually pretty dope. Ah! 
knock my whole shit over. It's been crazy, bro. But um, let's change my man's role. Boom. Yeah, it's been it's been so far so good so far. Rich, I'm glad to be back on. You know what I'm saying? It's been it's been a minute. Now I'm saving these hoes and shit over here. Let's see, watch. All these hoes got STDs. <laughs> it's hilarious. I should have jumped or something. Love the ca camera views and shit. Oh, okay, let's see. What's up? I like this game so far, man. I like this style of game. What is, oh, matter of fact, the richest. What is this game like called? The category of game. Like, it's like adventure or like you know, I don't know. Where you know. Taking a homegirl somewhere with me, but oh, look at that! That was fire. I'm not even sure how the fuck I did that. I'm excited there. Show that move I just did. Bang, watch, watch. Escape move. Where the camera at, man? Where the camera? Where the camera? Did you help me out, bro? I don't think you did anything. I think you were just hiding back here, bro. Where is the 
motherfuckers are coming deep. Until daybreak, I gotta keep on fighting these fools. Holy shit, I'm fucking tired, bro. Like I said, eat. Do that, yo. I don't, I don't even know. Missing something? You are no help. These cats over here. Ah, what the fuck is this? A leaping fish. Maximum. Good shit. Yo, stop spamming my chat. Yo, chat, go ahead and block this dude. Come on. 
trying to sell the stream. Nah, I'm doing this from, from, from the bottom up. You understand? I'm gonna grow this shit. You know, fake ass freaking viewers. How is that even a possibility? I'm not even thinking that. I'm gonna do this shit right way. Oh, that's fun. Fuck my bitch, that's right. This is always trying to get motherfuckers in trouble. Where the fuck they come from? Shut that bitch behind. Fuck. Checkpoint, yo, what's up? What's going on, Checkpoint? Yo, I'm gonna throw this mission. This game is super dope. I don't know what kind of category of game this is, though. But, um... It's super dope. I'm loving it. Change equipment? I don't think I even have equipment to change. So, let's see. This is, um, that's a good ass question. This is Kenitsu. Kenitsu. Uh, something. But it's dope. I gotta make sure I protect my lady. This chick right here, huh? Protect her to start fucking her up and then I start losing energy. I'm really enjoying this fucking game though a lot. Banga, motherfucker. Take that. Where bomb and puñeta. Bang. Come, come at me, motherfucker. Take that. Ay, yeah, right there. Mm. Fuck you, son of a bitch. Bang. Banky, me, my baby. Banky, 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 banky. Fuck all that motherfucker. Woo. Oh, I see another person. Yo, leave her alone. We're trying to get from the back. We always run with that. Motherfuckers from the hood always try to start some shit. Thirsty motherfuckers, yo. Hey, y'all ain't even doing nothing. I, I gave y'all protocols to fucking. To, like, yeah. Like, Dude, I gave you things to do, like, come on. <sighs> Gang of motherfuckers, man. Alright. Camera angle's wrong. Come on, people, I can't see. This is my 
fuck. I see you creeping. Thirsty. Look, I'm thirsty. Tongue hanging out. It's mad thirsty, dude. Stay off my lady, bro. Like, come on. Yo, these motherfuckers are ganging up on me. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta protect this chick. I'm going up to morning time. Fuck. Ooh, I made it to daytime. Thank God, bro. That was dope. Advance at person B. So what do I do next? Okay. Carve the spirit path to guide. Okay, so. Yeah, but it doesn't let me go through here. Mad slow to walk. Oof. That this feels good, man. I'm playing the game. I actually enjoy it. Defeat 50 Sith was sold. Look at that. That was all just a green. Okay. Interesting. It's a very cultural game. Yeah, what time is it? Kind of getting hungry. I'm also making dinner right now, so I'm making a a chicken potato hearty stew, which is essentially a chicken stew, but a little bit heartier. I'm gonna serve some white rice on the side. It's a little bit of biscuits as well. I'm gonna dip that shit in too. It's gonna be fire. So that's in a crock pot right now, cooking it up. 
Let's see what's over here. Go to the tent. I really do enjoy this man's outfit. I like it a lot. Damn, I'm gonna get a samurai sword, bro. It was just a replica, a replica one. That'd be fire. Like I'm gonna just collect things I enjoy and like, and put that in like my my space. I love art. I like that cultural stuff. I actually got some Puerto Rican stuff coming through. Whatever gets here, I'm supposed to be delivered to today. So I will show that to you guys once I get them next stream. Am I supposed to like this shit? Move cursor to select. Oka dance. Okay, let's do it. Use that one so it's a little waste of time. Take the moves, why not? You know, so I take whatever I can get. She has mad shit for me in this fucking tent. See, my behavior from back in the days, I just skip all this reading shit. And I'll go on a fight and play the game. So now I'm teaching myself to slow down. My boys told me to relax and enjoy the game, slow down, and read every fucking thing and, 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 and let the thing play the fuck out. Alright, so. That's what I'm doing. That's fire, that's fucking dope. Okay. Alright, cool, I just some rebuilding projects, that's cool. I just got to pet the dog, that's cool. I 
I mean, get it, bro. Broker structures and bases. That's where repairs were advanced as you could be stages. <laughs> Thank you, checkpoint. Okay, I think I'm gonna hang on this now. Oh, look at a deer. Just chilling there. I love the game, the riches. Like, this is so dope. Does the, does the fan make it better? Checkpoint. I turn the fan off. Um, I'm just chilling and helping the villagers out. This game is dope, though. I can't, I got it. I can't front. I like it a lot. Um, it's a cool game. Sure, the hell that means. That's what just happened there. Let's fix that. Yeah, this little town got kind of destroyed, man. So we gotta repair some time, some things. Oh, everybody's busy. Jesus. So can I help repair? Oh man, what you doing? Where you going? You're not working. Get to what I said. How are you taking a break? I need three people for that. But my man, so how come I looks like I got people available? Hold on. These my jokers is walking around. Yo bro, hold on. Oh man, what you doing? Yo. Why are you just walking around? Alright, they fixing that. But let me go up here. I already got that earlier. Yeah, it's lots of repair, man. Everybody's busy still. Gonna take time to repair this junk. Cause I won't be fighting for a while. Okay, I can put L, B, and Y and fast forward. I just fast forward in time. Ah, that's dope. Let me see these motherfuckers finish their job, though. Like, come on. Yo, if me fast forward in time and finish their job, that'd be a problem. 
these dudes are still busy. I fast forward the time. You gotta be kidding me. Where the hell are they at? Look at the fucking dogs chilling. Are they still working back here? You said continue on? Okay, well, I can, I can do that, but. Sometimes the camera angles be fucking me up. Woo! Alright. So do I just move? I guess. Crystals, she's blessing me. All right, you guys be safe. Okay, if you need me, just uh, set up the bat signal. You know what? That's how I want my family to act. When I went to a room, I want my whole family to start dancing. <laughs> That'd be fucking dope. You know what I'm saying? Block that, that's right. That's why I learned how to block.
crushed me, man. Get up, man. Come on, get up. Trying to save her. That was insane. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I failed. Yes, yet again. This is so dope, though. Okay, let's, let's start over. Equipment change. Uh, why? Why is that? You know, I can be freaking kids. They have to take my damn controller and they don't charge it. This one's completely dead, bro. Oh, I'm so heated right now. They do this all the time to me. Oh, what the fuck's going on? Man? I'm not surprised this fucking just happened. This is such bullshit. Those guys can see me. Shining, the sun ain't shining like it was before. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is bullshit. They broke, like, they, they did some to one of these batteries, but they fucked it up, man. Like, only, yeah, only one battery is taking a charge. I wonder why that is. It's annoying having children that touch your shit and don't take care of it. I'm really meticulous about my shit, so... Of course, my children aren't as meticulous as their father is, so when they borrow my shit without asking me, and they keep it for a little while, without, you know, I mean, knowing that they did, because honestly, too, it's my fault because I didn't realize they were using it because um, and this battery is shot because I changed the controls around. The charging station's fine. It's a fucking battery that's shot. How do you fuck up a rechargeable battery? All you gotta do is just 
Lay it on there. My, my kids are so rough with their shit. I know the richest had gave me um, this uh, this joint to buy new battery where it's actually you just plug it in USB, USB C and charge it. I had to cop that. I think it's like twenty five dollars a piece though. Like, I'll get one for right now. But damn, like, this freaking really sucks, bro. I should take one of their shits. I might just do that. Hold on. They take my shit. We're gonna take their shit. And I'm gonna show them that I'm switching it right here. Cause you know what? They don't even watch my goddamn live streams anyway. So I can do it right in front of their faces, record it live, and they won't freaking know. Just test that out. Oh, we're finding out this shit's broken too, cause they fucked their shit up too. So they fucked up their shit too, and they switched out my shit. I still fucked up my shit. Yeah, we gotta charge, but we gotta charge for both of them going on. So now we're gonna take this broken, fucked up battery and putting it in my daughter's fucking um, controller. She's gonna think it's dead. Now I started hiding my controllers. I'll be right back and put it back on. I am back. So, we're gonna let these things charge. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let these bad boys charge. And, um, 
I feel so good as a dad that I took their shit. Like how they took mine. Revenge is a bitch. And I'm a petty motherfucker. So a lot of shit going on in Georgia lately. And uh what is that sound? Gorgeous day outside though. Check my neighborhood app and see what the hell's going on. I think it's just a fucking I got homework to do too. Not procrastinating, but I haven't streamed in so long. I got much majority of my schoolwork done for the week already done. So I got this one assignment, but whew, I'm like blah. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ah. Why are you playing? I'm Tommy G. Today I'm in the Lord's country, Eastern Tennessee, Appalachia. My name is Shaka Hustle, mate, and in East Tennessee, we would. Alright, we're gonna we'll watch some on uh, Tommy G. And this is visiting the most redneck place in America. <laughs> so that's gonna be kind of dope to watch. Um. So that's what we're gonna do. Boom. Yeah, I know, thank you. The wallpaper is actually it is actually pretty dope. Actually, um I can I can go back into it if you'd like to see it again. Not sure why I just switched over to the other one, which is insane to me. But um I'm not sure why did I do that. Look at that, peoples. I love watching that. But let's um let's get into it. La madre tuya. All right, so this is um, uh, Tommy G visiting the most redneck place in America. Let me know if you guys could hear it. Okay. Hello, folks. I'm Tommy G. Today I'm in the 
Lord Time Power with you today. I'm in the Lord's country, Eastern Tennessee, Appalachia. My name is Shaka Hudson, and in East Tennessee, we will protect these kids. Yay! You guys hear that? What do you picture when you think of the most redneck place in America? Perhaps you picture rural Alabama or somewhere near the Florida Everglades. What I picture is Eastern Tennessee, located awesome. smack dab in Appalachia. This place is country, the Lord's country. Here you're liable to find a gun in damn near every house, and it's not uncommon to still spot a Confederate flag fly. It's a place where gas stations sell an awful lot of chewing tobacco, and the boys in this town drive trucks. In this episode, I meet with local resident rapper Shaka Hustleman. Here's what this kid sounds like. Get this thing like I'm bound to make a spear. What? I knock your ass straight the fuck up out of here. Cause he told me shit, cause he think he in the clear. Step to the creek like I'm running from bloodhounds. It's a fun town, you get gunned out. Lord, I'll be sick of this syphilis. The marker beast when I remember this. Okay. In this episode, we shoot guns, get mud on our boots and meet the local folks. Everything you see is for educational purposes. I love living in the South. Let's giddy up. Because in Georgia, you know, we have some hardcore like Americans and the toughest looking Toyotas. <laughs> love it. They be, they be looking, lifting these Toyotas, hardcore, having the American flag on these reliable Japanese cars because they're not going to buy American. But there's mad F-150s and Chevys and Rams still, but... It's funny when you see them all decked out with the American flag and it's a Japanese car. Anyone with ten thousand dollars or more in credit card debt or personal loans may okay. qualify this, this for help from the National Debt Relief. Minimum payments could. What's up, y'all? Shaka Hustle Man. Welcome to East Tennessee. We're gonna show you about how it is, how we live, what it is, and we're gonna tell you the truth about this place. When it comes to Tennessee as a whole, I feel like we're one of the last states that's uh, really sticking to the true American way of life that our founding fathers set it up for us. East Tennessee is one of the few places you'll go where somebody will walk up with their pants hanging and some cowboy boots on and be like, Howdy, homeboy. What's up, my homie? Blah, blah, blah. I'm a rapper. Everybody always has this stigma around rappers that uh, they freaking live the part party lifestyle stuff, but really I'll just be fixing trucks and cutting grass and painting walls. That's really what it is. But that's I mean, your baby right here? Yeah, this, so this right here, it's a 1979 Scottsdale. It says it's K-10, but it's K-20. You can see she's a little muddy right now. We got wild over the weekend. Around here, it's either people who take the route of getting on drugs. I mean, there's an in-between, obviously. But people either take the route of getting on drugs or uh, they go out and they have fun with what they got. And right here, we know how to fix stuff. We know how to work on stuff and we put our trades to fun. Fentanyl epidemic has taken over this area like nothing you've ever seen. But one of my closest family members, she's uh, recently got on fentanyl, and this is somebody that we never ever thought would even dabble in drugs. She done got evicted, she's got her car repoed and stuff, and she's scared she'll die if she quits. But the thing is, I'm scared she'll die if she keeps doing it. I went to prison in 2015. There was so much dope that almost everybody you knew was selling dope or on dope. And it's dope, man. Yeah. Okay. And then whenever I came home, it was such an epidemic. I came home in 2019, I got on it. My baby mother, her sister, just died from fentanyl. Her dad, come to find out, was the one that had gave it to her. He had bought it from somebody and gave it to her and she passed. He got charged with second degree murder. The dealer and his girl got charged with second degree murder, but the one dealer was coaching a youth football team mm -hmm. and they knew that he was selling fentanyl. My stepbrother, I ain't seen him in 10 years and I caught up with him at the corner store. We ran into each other and caught up. Next day he was dead because he took a pill and it killed him. Next, we were invited to the top of the hill to the Diesel Dicks headquarters for a rip roaring shindig. Hey, we are 11 minutes out. The sponsor of today's video is Opera Desktop. 
the browser of the future. Some browsers are clunky, like they were designed by a monkey. But Opera One is engineered for a smooth browsing experience. <laughs> are you tired of ads popping up everywhere you go on the internet? That's why I recommend you download Opera Dem. Thank you, man. Y'all better tighten up. We're going uphill this time. Let's go. All right, just follow me. We're almost there. You ready? Oh, I saw goats over there. Where are we right now? Right now we're in Stony Creek. And it's safe to say that that's in Appalachia. Yeah, we're in the bottom part of Appalachia. I don't know if you're affiliated with the gang, but we're with the Diesel Dicks. Yeah, we're with the Diesel Dick gang. Oh, I know you see, you see the truck on the back, that truck sitting over yonder. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we do. We spin tires, we break shit, we fix it, and we can turn up. <laughs> I like the belt buckle, that's some high fashion. <laughs> hey, listen, bro, some old man made that shit for me. My wife would love me if I dressed like that. <laughs> hey, you better walk. Her up. I'm around. <laughs> Appalachian stereotypes. One would be that people can fix just about anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And two, that they like to tinker. Like they got a bunch of cars, they got a bunch of stuff. Is that accurate? That's stereotype? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's the name of the game. It's what I enjoy doing. Even if I had a million dollars, I'd still be out here tinkering with my toys and stuff. Do you guys feel represented by our current government right now? I feel like there's only one politician that I feel like I can trust, and that's the man that tells it straight. And y'all already know who that is. Hillary Clinton? Uh, no. No, we're talking about Trump. We're talking about goddamn Hillary Clinton. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I support Trump because he's the only person that I feel like has brought the whole American movement forward. You know, the whole MAGA movement shit. But dude, any politicians in general, it's just like, we don't know him, people. What does success mean to you? Wake up, do what you want every day. The life we're living. Yeah. Is there any lingo I should be learning if I'm trying to blend in a little bit more? You gotta say y'all. Y'all? Yeah. Yonder, you gotta say out yonder in the holler. How far is yonder? Right here, over there. <laughs> and if you hear somebody around here say uh, yesterday, you know, this happened the other day, whatever, that could be any time from now and <laughs> six months ago, you know, I don't Dude, shit. The funniest thing around here when somebody in holler or something gives you directions, they're never using street names and shit, they're using landmarks. Go north as far as the hill, then take a right? Yeah. John Boy's truck right here is locally famous. John Boy, tell him about your truck. Tell him, I guess. Are you making a barbecue in here or where's all this? Hey, working with the steel. God damn. God damn, John boy. Yeah, you supposed to tell us about it. <laughs> oh, you ever burned up? I've never burned up in, in my life. Get in. Can the car blow up if I do this? I mean, it ain't gonna like, hurt nobody. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right. We only got one tire left. We only really have one tire on this truck? Well, I mean, it's got two, but the one's popped. All right, right here is good. Give it a thunder <laughs> break. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that leg. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. You're a redneck now. <laughs> he just broke up. We gotta have a moment of silence. I mean, we's all riled up, but. These boys ain't fun, man. Uh, no sense. Yeah. <laughs> America. It's the important lesson because listen, dude, people are gonna f with your ass, and if you just say f them, it ain't gonna bother you. Man. Listen, you can't, you can't leave a burnout trail with diesel engine with an electric vehicle, man. You just can't. Like this is. This is the last times, the last few, this is the next few years, maybe 20 or so, we're going to be seeing the decimation and the elimination of combustion engines. Elon said it the other day too in a, in a tweet, he was that combustion engines is going to be like the horse. So you may have one, and it's going to be like an antique, or just like, you know, a, a hobby for you to have one, and, um... 
but you're not gonna really. Everything's gonna be fucking electric. It's insane. Hey, listen. I was 12 years old. And I threw up on maple because my daddy said, "You think you're a goddamn man? Go ahead, go ahead." Was that your first drink? 12 years old? Yeah, and I smoked my first blunt when I was five. <laughs> when people think a rapper in your head, you're not the first image that they stereotype. Do you think you can change that? And do you think the game is missing some new flavor? Rap is so broad. Anybody you can talk. And rap. You, there's a stereotype around us. I, I, I got you on the next one. one more. That we're a bunch of. There's a stereotype around us yeah, that we're a bunch of dumb hillbillies. But anybody can come up here tonight and have fun. We got a goddamn carrot. That's how you earn respect a lot of times up here. What percentage of people have guns in their house? There's a gun above every door in my house. It'd be easier to talk about the percentage of people that ain't got a gun in their house. <laughs> what the f if somebody was to break you, what the f are you gonna do? If you throw them down, he gonna get broke up and shoot your ass. And when you got kids, it makes a different yeah, thing. Once you, you have a kid, yeah. you gotta keep a gun. You call the goddamn police, they gonna be there in 10 to 20 minutes. You got a goddamn 12 gauge, that motherfucker gonna be there right now. <laughs> <laughs> Right this RACC, raise hell and eat cornbread, dude. I got the state of Tennessee. I got this shit done in a kitchen, bro. Fuck yeah. This was done in the kitchen. This shit was done in a fucking trailer run by a generator. The stereotypes from outside of this state ain't right. People take up for each other no matter what skin color, no matter where you're from. What do you think the stereotypes are? People act like a lot of mountaintop hick people and stuff in our area are incest. Drug addicted, racist. Yeah, racist. I got a kill with a black girl. Yeah, my mom's black, believe it or not. I, that ain't nothing to it. Skin color ain't nothing different in your hair. I feel like, you know, for, for them saying that, I agree with that. Like, living in the South, the guard has changed. No doubt there's always racism and shit, but not the type of racism that was once before from maybe their grandparents and Maybe their parents, depending how young their parents are. And it's, it's not the same anymore like it used to be. You know what I'm saying? So now it's just, you're just country as fuck. And you just so happen to live where you live at. Like I said, racism is not zero. And you still have some people, but I, st I still think that's more of the old heads that's like that, man. At least from my experience. I've been in, in Atlanta for 23 years now. And... 20 years ago when I first got here I gotta say the older people was running shit at the time yeah, it was, you felt it but as time has went on you don't feel it as much and you'd be surprised like to something like, like these motherfuckers they're country as shit those are some, like actually the nicest motherfuckers that actually will help you out um, I met a couple of country ass motherfuckers that gave me dear me like they were just wonderful like they had questions about me being, being Puerto Rican and shit and living in New York what is that like Cause they never, they never left the state, so but yeah, look at it. His mom is black, and that's some shit. It's like it's that's that's America. That's America right there. That's dope. Hair color, bro. Genetics is genetics. We're all human beings. We're shitty human beings and good human beings in every race, hair color, state. No matter what it is, bro. We're trying to split this nation up. When the people come together and unify, that's when the government gets scared of us, dude. Look at 1776. <laughs> Yeah, all right, folks. It's time to go to sleep. We'll see you. Yo, Tommy G looks like he's having fun. Like, in his other episodes, he's always like, kind of a little stressed out. <laughs> but he's he looks like he's a little, he's a little ugh, toasty right now. <laughs> the morning. I think we're about to hang out with what they call the Tennessee Taliban. I don't know. I have to ask them. But uh, we're going to make sure our ears are protected. We're going to get some earplugs and some watermelon and some fruits that we can chew. Let's get it. I'm bringing the sheep for real. I'm fucking it up because that's how I feel. 
I hear Tennessee is one of the best states for gun law rights. I'm originally from Southern California, so okay. moving here, it's definitely a breath of fresh air. What is the gun culture like here? You know, the Second Amendment is very, like, open and not restricted. Coming from a pretty rough area in Southern California, it's definitely a blessing that I can carry and don't have to jump through hoops and steps like that. Do you think it's something that Americans should protect and fight for? hundred percent. thousand percent. We got our earplugs, we got our butt plugs, we're ready to shoot. We got butt plugs? The fuck? Tennessee has some of the most pro-gun, pro-Second Amendment gun laws in the United States, so we decided to get educated and learn more about the gun culture here. So what are the gun laws like in Tennessee? They're easy. It's called constitutional carry. As a Tennessee resident, you have the right with a driver's license to conceal or open carry any weapon within the state. And that goes from pistol to shotgun to AR. Anything. To, how do you prove that I'm not crazy, that you're not putting You it? have to pass a background check. You answer all these questions on this form. If you do not answer truthfully, it's a felony. And then from these, this, I run your background. And it goes through five different divisions. Are you a fugitive? from justice. I'm not, but you are, right? <laughs> yeah. Just like anything, like 99% of people that buy guns are going to be good gun-holding people, but then there's the crazies, the Columbine. How do you stop that from happening? Well, you can't really stop it from happening. Somebody's going to come in and lie about it, but we pretty much have a good idea. We have the right to refuse anybody to buy a gun. We just had somebody that signed up to take a class with us. We didn't feel comfortable with the individual, and we gave her money back and won't even let her take the class. They were twitching a little too much. I went to a gun safety class recently. I got my concealed carry, but I'm scared to buy one because I sleepwalk sometimes, and I don't want to wake up and actually take out my family. But I kind of do want a pistol. I live in Milwaukee where it's a little... <laughs> I have dreams sometimes, right? Like someone's in my house, I'm running to go get them. I don't want to accidentally wake up and in the middle of, you know what I mean? No. No? Hey, we probably refuse to sell you a gun. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> we left this gun store and met up with Shaka and his friends to shoot completely legal guns. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. Not everybody cares about quality. Some people just want crap. If that's you, spoke post is not for you. Every so what do we got on the table here? It's a Palmetto State dagger. I can't afford it. I Leaving New York, where the gun laws are crazy strict, and you're that all the crooks and all the fucking thugs have guns and shit like that, and you really can't protect yourself in New York. Um, at least New York City, the laws are crazy. But when I moved to the South, I don't think, I don't think I'll ever, I'm gonna ever leave the South, man. I love this region of the country. You know, one, the weather's dope. Um, I think this, this region of the country has the best weather and shit like that. And honestly, because people are more noticing that of the South, is you come from New York, you come from, from California, don't fuck it up. Don't bring your fucking, your fucking ideas from those states because obviously it ain't working. You came down for a reason. Let the South be the fucking South. And honestly, when they said the South will rise again, it's not going to be in fucking violence. It's going to be in economics. It's going to be in population growth. It's going to be everything that's going to be positive because we're adding to it. I'm a Georgian now. I'm from Georgia. So I'm going to ask you where I'm from. I can go down my lineage, but I'm a Puerto Rican that lives in Georgia. I got two home states, New York and Georgia. So that's, that's part of it. That's life. So, um, you got to claim your shit. I claim both. But I've been probably living here now just as much time as I ever did in New York. I'm at that mark. Is that even Steven? And I'm not leaving Georgia no time soon. And in the future, wifey wants to live in some coastal region. We're looking at Charleston, South Carolina. So, we're still staying south. And we're gonna, you know, we have family in North Carolina as well now that moved down here from, from New York. So the, the South is where, where it's at. My in laws live in Charlotte. My cousin lives in Raleigh. We live here in Georgia. Like the Southern region is just fucking dope. Like the whole region and how close the cities are to each other. Florida's right south from us, so we can always have the beautiful beach. There's no reason for us to fucking leave, actually leave the Southern region. I do wanna go see Utah, but um, that's another story. I'm sure the richest would come with me if I go to Utah. <laughs> These are my carry guns right here. These are also Glocks. But this right here is a Glock 19. This is my home defense because it's got the laser and the flashlight. This was actually given to me by somebody who was murdered literally a week after they gave us. 
How young were you when you shot your first gun? Probably like five or six, maybe four. I was shooting AK-47 when I was, uh, before I could even ride a bicycle. What does the right to bear arms mean to you? It's an infringable right given to us by the Constitution, so it explains it in itself. Now I can understand people's fears about training and everything else. You can go out and get proper training, it's not expensive. There's plenty of people around that know what they're doing. They can teach everybody. May we drink a little bit before we start shooting? Yeah, have you guys got some Bud Lights we can try? Ah, get the f out of here. Firearms and alcohol <laughs> never mix. Do you feel like uh, Bud Light goofed up big time with their, some of their recent advertising? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I ain't never been in a bar and seen a freaking transgender man sipping beer, <laughs> drinking beer, you know what I mean? <laughs> when I was in fourth grade, they took us on a field trip to a place called Camp Explorer, and we'd shoot bows and guns when we were in fourth grade with our teachers, dude, really? shooting guns. Who's gonna shoot first? I got this ready. Right here. Nice. Just shoot that shit. Ain't no nothing. There it is. Do you feel like this part of the country has been forgotten about a little bit or is underrepresented? I would agree. In all fairness, I feel like the state of Franklin would have been a cool idea if that ever stayed into history. I think the, the state of Franklin. Yeah, Benjamin Franklin. Mm -hmm. They about in the 1800s, so they tried to establish the state of Franklin instead of the state of Tennessee, and it basically just incorporated the entire Appalachian Mountain chain as one state. So I think that would be interesting. I mean, Tennessee's an okay state. We've got a decent state government. It's been all right. Could we do better? Do you feel like you're represented under the Biden administration? Well, no, not really. I mean, food prices, gas prices, unemployment. The debacle that is the southern border, the things they're doing in our educational system, our children, none of it's good. I've had some personal experiences in some of that. I went down to the southern border. I was on a border task force, I just leave it that went down there and partnered with Texas, DPS, and National Guard, and did some work. The stream is lagging. I, yeah, I can't do much about that. Disaster down there. You know as well as Sorry. I we captured 2,300 people in 19 days. And four mile stretch border and I would say about 85% was military age males and out of that 2300 after their process 750 ish were already convicted uh files reckless officers inside the United States because Trump said a controversial statement that they're not sending us their, their best they're sending us their criminals their best but from one third of the people you got you'd say are on that category one third just via paperwork. Not everybody. There was good folks down there. I really didn't see that many women and children. I saw a couple groups, at least the shift I worked. I worked from 05 till noon, about lunchtime. But it's all military age males. Are you proud to be an American? Of course. And do you feel like we're losing that in this country? Sadly, yeah. There's still a good core of people that are happy to be here, happy to be left alone. That's the big thing. Everybody just wants to be left alone. People just want to be left alone and allowed to have Guns on their jeans, huh? <laughs> Akimbo! <laughs> <laughs> this is my message to Joe Biden. You come try here, come to my property, man. Shout <laughs> out in a small town. Joe Byron. Yay! Yeah, yeah! He's not even freaking looking. Got his eyes closed. <laughs> in these videos i love meeting absolute characters this next scene we get to go to kirk dog's house and this For guy real. is an appalachian legend we're in Kingsport, Tennessee. Beautiful slice of paradise in Northeast Tennessee. This is no place like home. I've been a lot of places, and uh, you know how birds and stuff navigate through magnetism of the earth? Mm -hmm. well, my magnetism feels right, right here. So I hear you're somewhat of a genius. By day, what do you do? What's your profession? Uh, right now, I actually work for the uh, U.S. Army, uh, making explosives at the uh, Holston Defense. You must be damn good if they let you in with all your tattoos. Well, you know, with a degree and a great work history, the possibilities are endless. Uh, that's the big house for me and the wife. <laughs> Kids. You see a lot of uh, overgrown chucks and uh, weeds around here. This is a Jeep that I was just given. We're going to basically talk her into it. Was that a birthday gift or a Christmas gift? <laughs> just a random, like, I need it out of my area. It's got a good motor. What goes down in here? That's just the farmhouse. When we have little shindigs like we do today, people go in there. we got couches, sit, lounge, hang out. This is honestly the dream is to have a lot of land, yeah. nice and quiet. This is a place that the, the crickets is, chirp at night, the stars come out. This is uh, the result of uh, deciding to make a lot of good choices along the way. At a, probably a little later than most. Uh, about 27, I got my head out of my rear and uh, worked, went back to college, got my degree. Is he making these parts? Having a gun on you is like having underwear on you. Uh, everywhere I go when I'm not going to work. 
<laughs> Do you feel like this part of the country is overlooked or underrepresented? Underrepresented in a positive light. I feel like a lot of the focus is on the negative because there's not a whole lot here going on except for, you know, you know I've got Music City over in Nashville and all that. You know, this small area, you just assume that it's a bunch of dumb rednecks. I've never been mudded properly before in my life. Probably? So, yeah. Oh, you're probably getting done. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Probably probably today. Today. Guys, as we're waiting to heat things up, I should let you know about this. I'm creating the largest gang in America. Big dog got to eat. If you want to join the gang, buy a shirt, TommyGMcGee.com. I have you covered. This is another thing about this area. We are superbly globally relevant. As in, Eastman makes products that are used all over the world. All the plastics, all the uh, bottles and stuff like that, they make the polymers that they use to do that. They have a big contract with Coca-Cola for years and Kodak. There's a lot of people out there that make this, that make America run, and we're yeah. kind of forget about them a little bit. The, they don't think about the, the boots on the ground kind of people, you know? Boots on the ground, that's one of the, the slogans of the channel. I was getting into Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge, that is where they uh, refined the uh, uranium for Fat Man and Little Boy. The bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oh. That was, yeah, made, that was made in this area. Like Oak Ridge, they, they built an entire city that was, you know, nobody came in or out, but they did the thing there. They made the, the explosive ordinance that went into that. Yeah. Who wants to show a city boy like me how it's done? I'm, I'm in the truck. truck. Hop in the truck. I might need to do a little car Bitch, I'm a bounce back. around here. Yeah. It means something different to people. What does it mean to people? Going all the way back to then, you know, the the North kind of controls everything and South wanted to run their own thing. You know, this slavery thing is terrible. Awful. Should have been thrown away a long time ago. But this area shouldn't be governed by them as harshly. Because they, they, they yeah. profit while we make the stuff, you know? Looks like you went hog hunting recently, huh? That's bull. No, I'm talking about hog hunting. Oh. Oh. He, he's not actually right. Not. All right, folks, we went on quite a journey, and the music that you've heard throughout this video is all this guy right here. A couple guys back here, too, but the link in the description. Blow this guy up. Comment, big dog's got to eat. Thank you for the hospitality. Man. Any, any, any final thoughts you got? Man, I just appreciate you coming out here and Thank showing you, love to our people, man. Thank we got good people, and you're good people, too, so it's good to get y'all out here and turn up, do a little That's yee what's up. shit. Yee Guys, yee 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 the world's a beautiful place. The media's gonna try and tell you it's not, but you can go anywhere to anyone. There's good people. They're trying to breed separation, but when you travel the country, you travel the world, people are friendly, people are wonderful, people are kind, and I experienced that here in East Tennessee and Appalachia. Love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Peace. Y'all have a good. I'm bringing the shit for real. I'm fucking it up. Cause that's how I feel. I'm hoping somebody might kill the exotic chronic. That was dope. That was fucking dope. Damn, that was freaking dope. I got in front. And that's what people need to fucking see, though, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what people need to freaking see. They need to see shit like that. They definitely do. Because that's that. Once you get to the. Like, you can't believe. um. You can't believe that, you know, what the media be telling you, man. But that separation shit. Country is country. The hood is hood. Even growing up in New York, like, blacks and Puerto Ricans and Dominicans all grew up together. Actually, it was all cultures. But especially in the hood in Best Time, Brooklyn, it's mainly just black and Puerto Ricans. And, um, but still, like, you still got exposed to many different cultures, though. In middle America like this, it's just Americans. You know what I'm saying? But it's a... Uh, kind of read some of the comments here. This is dope. It's super dope. Love my, you know, love America. Love it. That's how we gotta be. 
just inviting to one another and shit like that. But, um, man, guys, you know what I'm saying? So, the stream finally went on. Thank Lord. Um, and this is where, um, I'm going to part this end the stream here. It was good. Uh, it's 12.35. I think I streamed for a little bit over an hour, which is dope. And you know what? I'm going to keep on trying to do this as much as I can. It's difficult with work and school and the family, but I'm going to keep on keeping on and keep on producing more shit. So um, peace out. When you get things going off, you guys have been crazy. You've been great. Thank you for the chat to the riches and checkpoint. And whoever else has been watching, whoever's going to watch later on as well, thank you. And um, I don't know my streaming schedule yet, but get ready for me to really kind of take off on my, on my stream. And um, we got to make this shit happen. You know what I'm saying? So, peace out. Back to the arcade. Finally got a freaking game played. Giant Nomad out.